Hello coffee friends, my name is Tom from Tom's Coffee Corner and today we're going to do an experiment. We're going to try springs of varying strengths and lengths to see if we can get the DeLonghi Dedica closer to 9 bars. Alright, so this is what we're working with. This is the original spring right here, which I have measured out to be 0 0.5 millimeters in spring width or coil width and it is well, about 19.4 millimeters long. Then we're going to try the same one shortened. Then I've got two that I took out from pens. These have a spring thickness of about 0.3. It's a little longer. This one is about 25 millimeters. And then we're going to try the same thing shortened. And let's see what our results are going to be. All right, now before we go any further guys, keep in mind as a disclaimer, this video is meant for entertainment purposes only. I'm not responsible for your machine or for your personal safety. So if you do do this, please proceed with extreme caution and realize that by opening your machine, you're probably going to void your warranty. Now, of course, while doing this, the machine is unplugged. There's no power to the machine. Uh, obviously, don't touch anything because it can get hot. You don't want to touch any open wires or anything like that. Okay, so first thing is first, I would like to take out this spring from the original OVP and put it into the new OVP and see how they compare. I measured this new OVP to max out at 11 bars and I want to see if the old spring has maybe lost some of its force by now or not. So that will be the first test. Now let's take this guy out. And kind of just pull this whole thing right up out of there. So that's how it comes out. This rubber part goes on the bottom and you can see the left is the aftermarket one I got from Amazon. The right is the one that came out of the machine from the OVP that was broken. So I am just going to switch them out and see if we get the same pressure or not. Now we can give it a shot. So this should be obvious, but as a disclaimer, do not try this at home. This is for entertainment purposes only. I am not responsible for your health or for your machine. This is just for a demonstration. Let's see what happens with the other spring that came from the original OVP that I switched out. Okay, that one topped out also at 11. The conclusion is that both those springs are equal and we're going to try a couple of different springs to see if we can get closer to 9 bars. Okay, you can see I'm still wearing the gloves because this cap was really hard to get off again even the second time. I thought that it would be less stubborn after coming off once but I had to use, again, the screwdriver to pry it off here. Make sure if you do that to wear gloves because if you slip off with the screwdriver, that can really hurt. So what I'm very curious to do now is take off this little rubber nub and put it on this little spring that I've got here. I got this out of a pen and it's definitely more, it's weaker, you know, so Let's see what happens to the pressure when we put this weaker spring in there. Sometimes. 
The little gold grommet has got to go in as far as possible to hit the gasket. And then this clip keeps it in place. All right, so here we go with the pen spring installed in the OVP valve. You'll see here that the pressure ramps up a bit more slowly and actually goes past 10, 11, even 12, because I think what's happening is the pump can keep pumping as the flow meter keeps turning. All right, I was not expecting that. It went up over 12. Huh. thing that I would like to try since that was still too much pressure is to shorten this spring. So this is the one that came from the pen and it still provides too much pressure. Maybe that's because it's a little bit longer. So what I'm going to try to do is cut it down. Let's just remove a few spirals like that. Give that a shot. And this time, the pop, the top did just pop off real easy using this bicycle tool. So after it's opened a couple times and it is less stubborn, what we're going to do is put this back in there and try it out like that. All right, now let's see what happens with the shortened pen spring. I shortened it about, let's say, 20%. Okay, with the shortened pen spring, you can see that it is ramping up even more slowly than when it was at full length. But it's able to keep on going and going. So I think what's happening is that due to the weaker spring, the water is making it past the OPV valve back into the water tank. But the pump is allowed to keep pumping because the flow meter is still turning and it can still ramp up the pressure in the system. Okay, it tops out at about nine and a half bars. So I would say that is a bit more closer to what we're aiming for. What I don't like as much is that it really takes a long time to ramp up to temperature and then it seems to kind of creep up and keep going up slightly past nine bars. I would like to see it reach its maximum and stay there. So I think what I'm gonna do for my next trial is to cut the original spring and see if that helps us. The thing I'd like to try today, and that is to take the original spring and shorten that a little bit. So we noticed that with taking the pen spring and trying that without shortening, we got way too high of a pressure. And I think it's because it's so flimsy. Maybe it just kind of did this inside the OVP and it could be that it was never compressed enough to actually open the hole. So this one here is definitely more stable, more stiff. And I'm going to try to remove here just a little bit. See if we can get closer to nine bars. Let's say just a couple of turns here of the wire. And we'll put that on. Something else, something else to mention is that here we go that's the shortened spring you know if you're not careful with these things you may have to end up buying another one because it might leak in your machine and i saw that's what was happening before as the pressure kept going up and uh, coming slightly down it was because it was leaking here out of the cap and the problem was here i've got just a little a little crack in there from opening it. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's a little crack right there. And I think that's enough to make this thing leak a little bit. I still have the old cap right here. That's the old one. I'm gonna stick that on there. I don't think that this one has got any cracks in it, despite being opened numerous times. Here we go. Let's give this a shot. Part of the reason why I say this is at your own risk 
and you gotta make sure that if you do make any modifications to any of your machines that they're not leaking and that they're working properly. So that's why I say this video is for entertainment purposes only. But it's fun to experiment and let's see what happens. All right, here we go with the original spring in the OPV shortened. So the first time I was a little bit too bashful and I only cut basically the end off. It didn't make enough of a difference. So now I've got to try and cut off a little more. Let's see if I can get that pressure down. Oh, you can see that this one is broken here too now. Dang it. Well, let's see if it will still work or not. So let's just cut off uh, two more. Stick that black rubber thing back on there. Stick that back in there. Let's try again. All right, for the next trial, we've got the original spring shortened from 19.4 down to about 13 and a half millimeters. Let's go. So again, you can see here that the water is making it through the OPV valve back into the water tank, which means that the brew group is not being exposed to the full pressure available by the pump, and it makes it up to eight and a half, nine bars. It's going to top out right around nine and a half bars in just over 30 seconds. Okay, we made it up to about nine and a half, so pretty close. And you did see the bubbles coming out of there, so we know that the spring is doing its job and letting the pressure, which is too high, go past back into the water tank and maxing at nine and a half. So let's see how it tastes. All right, here I got 14 grams of coffee prepared. Got my scale teared out. And we're going to see what the extraction looks like and how much time it takes. What I'm going to do is stop the machine when it hits 28 grams. <laughs> Forty-seven seconds. That extraction took forty-seven seconds. Well, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say that it's definitely not sour. It is just slightly bitter, I think, because of a long extraction. But the the flavor is pretty well balanced. Now, does this taste better than when it was at 11 bars? I would say no. In my opinion, that was more balanced. And that also didn't take as long. But that's the result of the test. And take that for what you will. All right, guys, so what did we learn today? Well, anyway, I learned that it's not that easy to change the pressure inside the DeLonghi Dedica. It's a bit of a task to open up the Dedica it's kind of hard to crack open that OPV valve, and it does require a lot of trial and error 
to switch out the spring or cut it in order to get nine bars. I'm thinking there's got to be an easier method and some people have suggested a dimmer mod so I'm going to try that next. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If so, give this video a like and check out my other videos. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking.